Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been so excited to finally film this video. Um, I am currently 39 weeks pregnant and I am ready to party. <laughs> Don't mind me, I am actually, there we go belly, sitting on this little ball because I am trying to get everything moving along, 39 weeks. Um, I have pretty much had my bag packed for since 32 weeks, I have packed it, unpacked it, repacked it multiple times. I've watched so many of these videos and I was overpacking hardcore. <laughs> hardcore. I think I had three and at one point four bags that we were gonna leave the house with. Guys, that's insanity. <laughs> insanity. So let me help you simplify your life, ladies. Here we go. So this is my bag. I got it from DSW, it's Steve Madden. It is quilted, like my diaper bag in the background. Um, one bag, one bag. Labor, delivery, going home stuff, stuff for my hubby, um, stuff for baby. It is all in here, that's all you need. So stay tuned. So first thing that you saw on top was just a comfy blanket. So I wanted like a little something from home and I'm, um, I'm not bringing pillows and all this other stuff and towels. Um, I strongly advise before you even pack this, and this is why I packed and unpacked a million times, visit your hospital or wherever you're gonna be birthing your baby. Visit them and ask each nurse, like go on a guided tour and ask what they provide. So. My hospital provides almost everything. All I really need is clothes for myself, change of clothes for Angelo, um, and a going home outfit for the baby. That's it. So, um, they give me all the postpartum, everything, like everything. So, I packed a soft, nice blanket, because the weather right now in New York is insane. We don't know what's going on. It's been raining for two, three days straight. It's finally gorgeous out now. It's supposed to be in the 60s, 70s, and stay that way. I'm due next week hopefully sooner because I'm bouncing on my ball and I'm trying to get everything going so I just wanted just a nice soft blanket something cozy for me for the hospital um, I can also throw it on baby girl if we leave and it's a little chilly so a two-in-one <laughs> next up a fan because I get hot I get hot really easily. And I always had crazy hormones like this. Now they're even worse pregnant. Now they're even worse that I'm so far along. So a fan. Um, this is right at the top of my bag. So when we get there, Angelo knows, game on. <laughs> Have this bad boy ready. You can also clip it onto your stroller, your carrier. So once again, multi-use. Super cheap, got it on my registry. And I like this one because it's got the felt so you can't hurt yourself. Next thing, hydration. I am obsessed with this ice shaker bottle. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I'm always posting about it. Keeps your water super cold. I actually have one right here in rose gold. Uh, so when Angelo's going back and forth, just filling up water for me makes it so much easier. Um, I'm bringing this bright color so I don't forget it and just straws, nice and easy. Next up is, I love this bag. No, I didn't treat myself to a Louis Vuitton because I'm cheap and I'm having a baby. So um, this is my designer dupe. I got it off Amazon. If you want the information, I will link below or just message me. So um, this is kind of like just like my main bag. You could get carried away <laughs> with so many bags, packing little things in this, little things in that. This is my main bag. That's really it. Everything else, I will show you after. So at the top is my IVF socks. Guys, this is like, I love this. So my very, very, very best friend, Danielle, she made these for me when I was going through IVF and it says, I've got this. And you know what? Like. I do, I got this. So this is gonna be my labor and delivery socks to just give me that extra push and make me feel good. So if you have a friend, 
I mean, a lot of people, I don't know, they get the grippy socks and stuff. This, I love you, Danielle. Thank you so much for this. Ah! Um, next item in here is actually a really funny item because I never use this. A hairbrush. I just got a cheap little Revlon one hairbrush. I never brush my hair. I don't know why. Whatever. <laughs> um, hair clip. I love these claw clips couple of hair ties clipped in with that. You're gonna need that. I'm gonna clip up my hair and I'm gonna look like a hot mess uh, in delivery. So, speaking of which, I got this at my husband's cousin's wife's baby shower, Latoya. I won, I actually won something in my life. This is part of a little goodie bag. So I thought this was so cute to just, I can wrap it under, clip it up, and just have like a little sweat card to, uh, you know, go with, you know, the fan to keep me cool. Yeah. Do you, do you guys wear, get where I'm going right now? <laughs> um, next up is I have some cleansing cloths. I love cleansing cloths. I love Cetaphil, Cetaphil. Um, it is the only thing that doesn't make me break out. I love these because um, right after birth, I'm not allowed to shower right away. I plan on having a natural birth. I will get into that in my labor and delivery story of what my choice of pain medicine will be, um, which is very different and not a lot of people do it. And it's kind of like newer, but that'll be in another story because um, I have to be different. <laughs> um, but I love this because I could just kind of wipe down my body really fast, not feel disgusting until I take a shower. Um, yeah, self-explanatory. Next up is gum. Gotta have gum, this is Angelo's favorite gum. I don't know, I just grabbed whatever gum for myself. Just a little something. Q-tips for when I do take a shower, you know. It's good to have. Um, makeup remover wipes. These are really cute, I thought, because they come individually. Do you guys get where I'm going with this? Everything's in Ziploc bags. <laughs> Let me simplify. You need your partner, right? So when you're like, honey, can you go in my bag and grab up the makeup wipes? He will know what I'm talking about. He will see it says makeup wipe. Make your life easy. So yeah, just wipe down my face. If I don't want to get out of bed, boom. All I wear for makeup anyway is bronzer and eyeliner. That's just my thing. That's it. Um, next thing, nipple cream, which I probably don't need so early, but just to have um toothpicks flossers whatever you want to say that they are um ch -ch -ch -ch. seriously necessary aquaphor i live by this it's always on my lips it's not actually i need some right now because i've been looking around for these and i forgot that this one was in my hospital bag so yeah Love this, you're gonna need it. Chapped lips, all the breathing, everything going on. Bam. Um, my mom got me this really cute basket of from Burt's Bees of like all this stuff for, I think it's, she did zero to three months, maybe six to nine months, I don't know. And this was one of the things that came in it. It was like all like, um, like onesies and little wraps and things like that. So I was like, let me, instead of taking a big thing of lotion, just take a little baby lotion and medicine hospital will have all the medicine you're at a hospital whatever you need they will provide now for my husband he gets we both have really sensitive stomachs like super sensitive stomachs like really sick all the time so i got him um he loves these little ginger things i think i got them at home goods they're really hard to find um because these are the ones that you suck on so the little ginger candies i got him some alka seltzer um, some chewable tums for myself because I don't know how I'm gonna feel the heartburn kind of comes and goes so um, that's nice to have uh, nail file mostly for me because this clearly isn't a baby one I mean it's a small one but not like for babies next up pads I only put a couple in here because first of all I am not doing diapers I commend all you women who get those depends uh, what is it? The secret, like the, the always really cute. I can't do it. I can't do it. The hospital's going to give me the mesh underwear. They're going to give me those super thick pads. 
I'll deal with that. But when I'm uncomfortable, I need something thinner, super absorbent. So I got these. Also, my ongoing joke is I feel like I'm like a sumo wrestler. So if I throw on those like diaper pad, the, the not the diaper, yeah, the, the like diapers. Do you think my husband's gonna ever let me live this down? Me and my husband are total jokers. So no, not, not, just not happening. And then the last thing in here, oh, I forgot I had this. This is so cute. It says brand new. I can put on her brand new, ooh. And another necessity. This tea is amazing. Smooth move by Traditional Medicines, Medi Medicinals, sorry, Medicinals. This is amazing, I got the chamomile flavor. Um, you got a lot of things going on when you're pregnant. Don't hurt yourself, you don't need to take all that other stuff like the colace and I don't know, whatever. Listen, grab yourself a hot cup of water, make this the night before, go to bed, the next morning you will feel amazing and you won't get sick from it, just saying. Okay, next up. So I went crazy with all these beautiful packing cubes, um, all these little, like I told you, all the pouches, everything, put this and this, that and that. You don't need it, ladies. <laughs> You're gonna go crazy too. I bought into all of it and I last minute didn't buy it all. Actually, like, you know, like it was in my cart and I was like, I need this, this, this. I'm gonna show you what the greatest invention is. Ziploc bags. You guys see where I'm going with this, right? You don't have to worry. Um, like I said, when when I say Angelo, I'm jumping in the shower. Can you can you grab that little kit that has everything in it? You know, like to wash myself up. Boom! You could see it. I don't have to say. I think it's in that pink little zip bag, or it's the one with the purple flowers, or it's that striped one. Make yourself make your life easy. So for this, I have. Two little uh, loofah things, which is really funny because I don't really like using these either. They actually irritate my body. My, bo my skin's super sensitive, but I just got it just in case. Um, my Cetaphil, I love this. I use this as a body wash for everything. Obviously, toothbrush, toothpaste, all this stuff, garbage. Once I'm done with it, even if it doesn't, even if I don't use it, I'll probably just throw it in the garbage, to be honest with you, because I don't even know the next time we're going on vacation. We're going to have a baby, so. Um, so, yeah, so probably just going in the garbage. Hair, you know, shampoo and conditioner. Um, I don't plan on washing my hair at the, sh at the hospital, not because I just don't want to break, like, really, do I want to really bring a blow dryer, a straightener? It's like, I don't care. I'll clip back my hair. I will use, I don't like dry shampoo. I will use my um, leave-in conditioner, spray a little, done. I'm there for two days, hopefully two days max. If all things go well, everything is good and baby girl's good. So I don't wanna overpack. I don't wanna bring all this other junk. And honestly, like I hate showering when I'm on vacation too, like washing my hair. Like obviously I love showering. I hate washing my hair on vacation too because the water pressure, like when you're away in hotels, especially a hospital, like the water's gonna trickle out. Like I need, I need like a heavy like stream on my hair of like power, you know, for water. Um, deodorant, I didn't go out and get like a little travel size one. This one started running low, so I immediately just threw it into my hospital bag. That's a good tip too. So, um, Angelo's gel I think is really running low. I just ordered him like three new ones, so I'll throw that in here too. Um, and then we're pretty much set. Oh, he probably needs a deodorant to go in here too. But like I said, I don't even think he's gonna shower. He, he really doesn't care. Like he's gonna be clean. Um, he's not gonna be coming from a job, hopefully, because just construction. Um, but if he does, we got the goods. Next up, flip flops for the shower. Okay. All these videos, you girls go to Target. You get these really cute like flip flops that are like ten dollars, and it's like, oh my god, they're so cute for the hospital. Do you, do you guys think that I re I really want to bring these home after they've been in the hospital shower with God knows what? No. So these are from my nail salon when I got my last pedicure, which was right before the baby shower. They were like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. I don't even know. I don't even think they charged me for them because they love me there. <laughs> but um cheap garbage after 
don't care. Next up, so when I first get there, I'm throwing on the hospital gown, I'm fully committed, everything. Um, that night, they say a lot of women do like to sleep in the hospital gown. I am not a hospital, well not a hospital gown person. I am not like, I don't like dresses, I like pants. I like dresses to wear out, but when I'm sleeping, I need like a pant or something, especially I'm going to be wearing that nasty mesh underwear. So, black t-shirt, comfy, I think this was like a men's t-shirt, comfy black t-shirt. That's what I'll be sleeping in. My comfy black sports bra. Probably be sleeping in that too. Um, just a regular tank top. I do have a nursing one. I don't know if I'm going to throw that in instead um, with the clips. But this one, you just pull it down. Pull it down. You don't have to get fancy with the clips. Um, it has a little bit of like a shelf bra. Comfy. Cozy. Gets the job done. And I think it's like gonna fit me better than the nursing bras. The nursing bras, I don't, I mean, um, nursing tank tops. I'm just like, oh, I have two. I didn't even try them on yet. Um, and then these super comfy, just very like stretchy, um, super soft pants to sleep in from Target. So I bought these like a couple weeks ago once things really kind of stopped fitting me because growing um oh another thing so I'm not bringing towels I was I originally packed towels because I was like I'm gonna take a shower I need my towel I need this I need that no Ziplocs um this is just like a hand towel face towel whatever so when I'm washing my face at night my skin like I said is super sensitive I just want my own towel I don't want bleach things I always do this when we go on vacation too because I would break out so bad and get like rashes on my face from all the bleach and all the chemicals like when they wash things so just a simple towel it gets the job done um underwear don't need a clear Ziploc bag for that would like a little privacy underwear um oh another thing in labor massager this one is awesome you just squeeze it down so I need massage my back just all you have to do is just push it in and rub done that's gonna be fun um next thing up oh super important I guess I could show this my, my hospital so that's where I'm delivering Wet Plains Hospital Westchester New York um so this has all our paperwork we already I already went and I did admissions I gave them all my information we're all set this is like stuff for birth certificate and waivers I'm gonna need to sign so I'm like all set ready to go don't have to worry about anything I also have two pens and then okay so when I started IVF I bought this three pack of notebooks from Target, no, not Target, um, from TG Maxx. And it was a pink, a white, and a blue. And just when I started with like all my medicine for like the egg retrieval, like I literally have all my notes, um, I purposely picked the pink one because I said, I want a girl. And I just wished it, I was like, you know, that whole law of attraction and positive thinking. So this has like all my information and just like things that I tracked like during the pregnancy. I, don't even, I didn't even fill out a lot of things, but like my blood work and stuff like that. Like when I took my pregnancy test, oh my God, it's so cute memories. So whatever I, I had need at the hospital, if I need to write things down, I got a notebook. Um, next up. Oh, this is also, this is also so important for delivery. Okay. I need my music. I need music. I need distractions. So the fan, the massager, little Bluetooth speaker. Got this baby from Target. Super cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks and it goes kind of loud too. So I got that. I also have headphones just in case if at night, you know, charger. It's a pretty long one. You don't have to go out and buy a 10 footer. Like honestly, tell your husband, Honey, go plug this in. Oh, okay, honey, go get my phone back. Like, come on, come on, come on, ladies. Um, extra batteries for my massager, because that's like life. And um, a little uh, battery. I've had this battery for so long. Like, it's actually really good um, to charge my phone. Done. 
all you really need. Next up, um, since my hospital gives me all the freebies and the goodies and all that stuff, um, told you I'm not bring, I'm not bringing wipes, I'm not bringing um, diapers, anything. This is my freebie bag. Woohoo! Fill it up. Take it all home. Um, mirror. Mirror. Now, this is awesome because it goes like, it goes like that and I could put it like on the table, you know, like, like this and, you know, fix myself up. So, this also doubles because <laughs> my mom told me that she, when she had my brother, she wanted to see, like, what's going on? And they, I think they offered her a mirror and they forgot. So, hell yeah, your girl's gonna be like, let's do this. I also, I also wanna lean forward and like hold her as she's coming out. I know I'm crazy. We'll see where, when the labor and delivery story goes. We'll see guys, but that is my plan. And then the rest of the stuff basically is pretty much, you know, some hand sanitizer, which I, I don't even need this in my bag, but I just have it in case just to keep it right next to me. Family, I love you guys. You better be using this every single time. <laughs> um, little brush and comb just in case. Um, I'm leaving it in the packaging because then they get like all messed up and I don't want that to happen if I don't use it. Um, I love this. So I gave Angelo a couple options. He actually picked this one out for me. So this is by Milkmaid Goods and it's just such a sweet robe. And this will be for like the mommy and me photos. Um, I also have just like a pink maternity shirt to go underneath. It, like if I want, I'll probably just be naked half the time. Um, but yeah, that. And then, of course I got for baby girl. So we got our matching set. It's just a swaddle. It's so soft. It comes with a headband. Um, this is from Milkmaid Goods, Milkmaid Goods. And then I have purple, which is, this one is from Copper Pearl. This is just, so, oh my God. All right, I'll take it out. It's so soft and it smells so pretty too. So soft. So I want to lay this down um, in the little like bassinet that they give you, which she'll be in for 2.5 seconds basically. And then she'll be in my arms like the whole time because I'm crazy like that. Um, lay this down as a backdrop and have this for her photos. Ah, I love it. She's coming so soon. Come on, come on. Let's get her out. Let's get her out, guys. Oh my God, imagine if I go into birth after this video. That would be amazing. Okay, I do have one nursing bra. One nursing bra. Done. Um, and then baby girl's going home outfit. Nice and easy. Everything is clean and washed. I even put going home outfit. Um, this is just like a spare outfit just in case. But while I'm at the hospital, I'm leaving her as is. I'll probably keep her in that little swaddle. Um, I am not changing her a million times. I have enough time at home to do that. Also, the less laundry, the better. Ladies, you're bringing all these outfits and there's so much germs and like disgustingness at hospitals. I hate hospitals. So I just want to avoid that. I just want everything still fresh and clean. Like, like look at how sweet this blanket. My mom got this from Pottery Barn uh, Kids. I love it and it's so soft on the app, but why am I gonna bring this? It's so clean and nice at home. Not happening. Um, let's move on to Angelo's stuff. So that's that's everything. That's everything for me and her. Um, like I said, the outfit, this is the outfit that I will be going in, my maternity leggings. I am not even trying to put on pre-maternity leggings. I, I'm not, I need to be comfortable leaving the hospital. I am literally getting wheelchaired out right to the car 20 minute drive home there's no fashion show i don't care i'm a new mom it is what it is and speaking of new mom we got super dad how cute is this for angelo oh my god <laughs> i love it i love it i love it um so <laughs> i wanted a little something for him i wanted something pink or purple or whatever but i showed him this and he was like yeah, yeah, yeah get it so cute for like a nice little photo at the hospital and then basically, ugh, just a couple of changes of clothes for him. He's got one, two, three shirts. He's got more shirts than me. <laughs> and two pairs of pants. Um, probably one to sleep in or whatever. I told him I was like, just pack pajamas and a change of clothes for the next day. 
done. Super easy. He's he is actually really easy. He's too easy. Um, what else? Got some just regular socks for us. Um, just like <laughs> this was this was actually what he originally put like as his hospital bag. I was like, babe, you're gonna carry things in, like a plastic bag. Like just just I'll get a bigger bag for us. So this is just for like any laundry or whatever. Like I said, the least amount of laundry that I'm coming home to, the better. I will have another video of all my tips of how to prep for baby, things that you don't really think of, especially first time moms. Um, that video will be after this one, as well as a 38 to 39 week update because I'm 39 weeks today, I go to the doctor again tomorrow. So let's see how dilated and effaced and all that good stuff I am so we can get this show on the road. And last but not least, cards. Angelo and I actually really love to play cards. We do it on the plane when we go away. We do it sometimes in hotel rooms. So this again, it's just another distraction. Um, when you're in labor, like we went to a birthing class and they said distractions, distractions. Cause that one minute of intense pain, if you have something to distract you, besides just staring and focusing at something, staring and focusing, if you have like a little something to distract you, it's gonna go much faster. And that's it guys bag is empty I probably could have stuffed probably could have stuffed a couple more things in there but it's not needed so we are ready for our princess Angelina I cannot wait to be a mom and yeah I'll be bouncing around a little bit more I do my little hips that'll be my 38 to 39 week follow-up too about what I'm doing to try to kind of like induce labor naturally um, little tips and tricks and stuff and we will see after tomorrow's appointment if it works thanks so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe share ring the bell all that good stuff i don't know <laughs> bye guys we also have some snacks for the hospital bag just some basic essentials especially chocolate i love my chocolate um so this is over our refrigerator and we will grab it and throw it in the hospital bag last minute pregnant brain problems also throwing these slippers in last minute. I literally just use them to walk to and from in and out the garage to do laundry. Um, they never touch my brand new carpets, but these are great for in the hospital because I do not want the grippy socks. I'd rather have a nice slipper. And then if they are all dirty, throw them out, get a fresh new pair for the house.